Alright, I want to take a look at a uh, kit for doing a deer leg lamp. You see, I have a finished uh, lamp here. Um, kit comes with just about everything you need. Doesn't, doesn't come with the base, doesn't come with the shade. Um, those are up to you to find. Um, but it actually turned out to be a pretty good pretty good little uh, lamp kit depending on what you're looking for. Uh, I chose to go with a more rustic uh, base. It um, was a, a log where I uh, where I hunt at. Uh, a pretty good shape so I just went ahead and cut a piece out of it. I'll, I'll probably sand it down and, and put a finish on it. But you can see the lamp turns out pretty good. Uh, it's a good project. Um, so let's take a look at uh, what's included with the kit. Okay, I have here one kit uh, you can find online if you do a search for deer leg uh, lamp kit or deer leg kit you'll find a couple different options. Um, this one in particular comes with a leg mold. Um, actually there were different sizes small, medium, and large. Um, I probably needed a small mold. Uh, they were out of them online so I'll show you how to how to go ahead and rasp that down to get a, uh, a fit that you need. Even if you get the size you think you need it turns out to be a little small or a little big. Uh, you can still adjust it using a little bit of modeling clay or uh, rasping that, that size down. So kit comes with a deer leg mold which is this. It will be your center rod for your lamp base as you can see here. Um, actually that will be this way. Um, so we have that. We have the electrical plug. You have your cap uh, that fits over the top of the leg. Give it a nice finished clean look uh, here. And then you have your electrical socket. That'll cover your wiring. So you also get the champs, uh, the lampshade cover. This is the bale style. Uh, I chose not to go with that on the lamp I have, uh, and I'll probably end up getting a bigger shade. That one's small. I just used it for uh, demonstration purposes. But this actually fits on the uh, the lamp base, and you can. You can uh, set a shade on top of it and you screw it on so this is a accommodate a little little bit larger shade and that's probably probably what I'll end up going with uh, on that lamp and you can actually order deer uh, hide shades or uh, deer print shades uh, online if you if you do a search for that so uh, kit runs about 30 maybe forty dollars um, and like I said it does come in different. Uh, different sizes so that's what the kit looks like um, some things you will need uh, that the kit does not come with you'll need a uh, needle and thread I like to use a curved needle you can pick that up from uh, you know, if you have a dollar store or Walmart or a uh, big box store in your area you can find the uh, pack of sewing needles and little pack of thread. You're going to need some scissors to, to cut some of that hide off and some modeling clay. We'll use that to fill in between the hoof and the uh, mold and also on the back where the dew claws are. Kind of help fill out your your leg a little bit and uh, give you a better fit. So let's take a look at the, the deer leg. Alright so we've taken a look at what comes in the kit. Um, to get started You'll need to supply the deer leg or the deer foot. Um, this foot has already been tanned, so it's ready to go. Uh, you can search YouTube for, uh, for how, how to tan the hides. Um, I actually have a video also on how to do that. It's pretty simple. Uh, takes a couple, uh, couple dollars um, and about a week worth of time to do that. It's not the uh, nothing major so if you want to check out that video go ahead I'll have a link to it. 
uh, but this this leg is uh, canned or pickled uh, and it's ready to go all we'll have to do is make sure it fits correctly on our mold and I already know because I did the original one that the mold is going to be a little big uh, for this leg but no big problem we'll just take a, uh, a wood rasp and we'll file, file that down to where it has a nice fit you can see uh, this is a small deer uh, the good eating deer not a big mounting deer but I want to go ahead and utilize the legs so uh, you see how that fits on there uh, we'll go ahead and take the rasp look at the mold here we'll just start start shaving some of the mold down uh, just like if you were uh, sanding a piece of wood it comes off pretty good just work that rasp back and forth kind of following the contour of the uh, of the leg we'll do that around the whole thing and we'll start checking for for fit all right so we've rasped our our mold to the right size uh, just want to check it periodically if you need to do that as you're doing it um, you see on the back side how it comes together real easy now uh, matches up pretty good so uh, take a minute and show you how this hide is uh, has been skint um, you have the bottom side of the foot uh, up to the first the first joint there um, you can cut that off with the saw and you want to just take the back side of the foot and you just want to split that right down the back you kind of skin it out around the each side of the bone you're going to get to the dew claws here uh, you'll skin that out and you can more than likely you can cut it with your knife uh, it's kind of like a tendon uh, in there um, you can cut that with a knife but if you're having trouble you can just take a pair of uh, pliers and, and cut through that no problem and you want to skin it all the way down to the uh, to the hooves there'll be some tendons in here um, you just follow along the bone and then you can kind of uh, twist it and see it moving you just want to cut that with your knife so you get it all the skin all the way down to the hooves here um, you'll, you'll be able to open it open it up like that and, and uh, get a good look at it so what we're going to do we're ready to to sew the leg up, uh, we'll take a little bit of this modeling clay, we'll put it in the uh, actual leg, set the mold in, start folding it up, we'll put a little bit more modeling clay right where the dew claws are, that'll help them to uh, sit out a little bit, as you can see here on the lamp, uh, give it a nice look, and uh, we'll start sewing it up, so I'll zoom in here and we'll take a closer look. All right, we have our needle threaded here, ready to go. We just have some lightweight thread, uh, some tan, uh, so it'll match the the uh, hair uh, decent. And we'll take a little bit of modeling clay here, just pinch it off. And you can find this at your your uh, hobby stores. Uh, I had a, I think it's a 10-pound block. May have cost uh, eight bucks or so. We'll just squeeze off a little bit, set that to the side. What we want to do is we want to fit it. We want to make up the joint that's missing here when we put our mold, when we put our uh, our leg mold in. So there's going to be a small uh, void that we want to fill with this modeling clay to give us a better fit. So we'll just push some in there, and we'll be able to work it around once we get the uh, once we get the mold on. So we'll just push this into the cavities here. Careful, you don't want to get it all over the, the hair on the outside. 
pinch off a little bit. So we'll go ahead and take this uh, leg mold. And if you do, if you have to uh, rasp yours down, you want to take some little sandpaper and kind of uh, firm it up. Not firm it up, but just kind of run it over there. Make sure you have a smooth surface. That way in your finished product, you won't have any uh, lumps or bumps or, or anything. It'll look like a, a nice, smooth deer leg. So go ahead and do that real quick. Just make sure we didn't miss anything. We've got the putty in. We'll take that uh, leg mold, kind of fit it on there, start working the hide around. Make sure it's pushed all the way down. Pushed all the way down here. We'll take a little bit more clay. We'll put it in where the dew claws go here. Push that in. And once it's in, you can you can work it pretty good with your hands. If you have a little bit too much, uh, you can just peel it back and pull some out. If it's not if it's not sitting right, or if it's poking out a little bit too much. One thing you want to make sure you don't want to overstuff it. So push in there between that between the. Uh, toes. Let's take a look at it. Make sure everything is lining up. Start laying that, that hide down. Kind of straighten it out. Take a look at it at some different angles. So that's looking pretty good. A uh, few claws are looking pretty good. Everything's meeting up in the back. So we'll take this take our uh, needle and thread and we'll start stitching that up here in just a second. Alright so we have the uh, we have the modeling clay in, foot's aligned good. Uh, so now we're going to take our needle and thread we're going to start sewing this up. We'll put the first stitch in uh, we'll put a knot in to hold it and we'll just slowly start working it. Uh, so we'll start on one side here. Um, you want to kind of stay toward the outside of the hide, toward the area where it's been cut. You don't want to get too far into the hide. Because as you're sewing it up, you don't want to grab, you don't want to grab too much of that hair. Pull that hair down. And as we're sewing, we're actually going to take and work that hair out. I'll just take it, put a couple knots in the in the string here. not the best angle but just something to hold it and then uh, start sewing that up I'll show you a couple a couple strands will sew together and then I'll uh, I'll pause them to come back so we'll do another one here Catch the outside of the hide. Of course, try not to stab yourself. Just kind of work slow. Don't get in a rush. So, start pulling that together. Kind of pull it snug. 
and you want to just pull the thread over, you can hold it with your thumb. That'll give you some a uh, little bit of leverage as you're as you're working down the cut here. So we'll come back in. We'll put in another stitch a little bit further down. Kind of snugging it up. Cross it over, hold with your thumb. Now as you're doing this, between each stitch, you want to just stop for a second, take that needle. You want to catch any hair, it might be caught up in that thread, and just kind of pull it to free it. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a lot of a lot of hair. Instead of the hair sticking up like this to cover your stitches, it'll be all laid down. It'll be caught in the in the stitches, and it won't come out. It won't come out very uh, very nice at all. So. I'll work it back and forth. Put in one more before we pause it. Right here at the very bottom, doesn't have to be perfect because all that's going to be hidden. Just going to try to get it together and get that started. That's why I like to start on this end as opposed to the top. Work that hair, hair out. And we'll go ahead and put in another one. is really starting to close up. Okay. All right, you can see we are, uh, we're about to the top here of the leg. Got it sewn up pretty good. Uh, you can see it's closing up. The, the hair is setting over the, the, um, the thread here and it's looking pretty good. Um, You'll notice as you're getting toward the top of the uh, of the leg, where that joint was, you're going to have some extra skin. Um, so what you want to do is just kind of take, kind of push it together a little bit. Take you some scissors and just kind of trim the excess, and then you can sew that back, sew that up to where it meets. Do it again here on the other side. Make sure you don't cut it too short. More is better in that case. So I'll just take it. I'll keep sewing, uh, sewing up here, and I'll put another knot in the top. You see, I got a little bit of, a little bit of white mold. Uh, not mold, but molding. The leg mold uh, extending past the fur. So I'll just probably take a, a hacksaw and kind of uh, cut that off. That way that that nice metal piece will slip down and slip over the, uh, the hide here to hide that. So I'll finish sewing this up and we'll take a look. Okay, we've got the legs sewed up now. We're all the way to the top of the hide. Um, what I'm going to do, what I've, I've done on these, uh, just kind of squeeze the hide together here at the top. Um, and since there's a cap that covers this, it doesn't have to be really neat. 
So I just kind of squeeze the hide together, take the needle, pass it through both sides of the hide. Come back through with the needle and just kind of put a couple of half hitches in for the last for the last round. I'll do that one more time. And pass it through both sides of the hide. You're going to take, pull the needle through the loop, and just making a half hitch. So I'm just going to keep that hide together. Cut the, cut the thread off. Make sure you don't have any, uh, any hair caught up in your string. So this is looking looking pretty good actually uh, what we'll do is take a piece of piece of tape you want your hooves to kind of set together so you can take a piece of tape a uh, piece of painters tape um, let's see I got a piece right here Take some painter's tape and just set your hooves together how you want them. Put the tape over there so it doesn't... don't want to use something like duct tape where it really sticks to it. Just kind of put that on there, wrap them around. That'll keep them together while they're drying. You want to set this aside for about probably a week or two. You want to let it dry real good um, got a little bit of putty on the hook um, you let this dry and set cure for about a week the hides already cured but you want it to dry out uh, and it'll it'll shrink a little bit the modeling clay also shrink a little bit but as long as it looks good um, when you get finished with it at this stage um, It'll, it'll look good when, when it's dry. Um, so once you have that, um, get your base. You can order your base off the internet. You can take your chainsaw and make a base like I did. Um, we'll take a look at, at uh, running that through a piece of wood. I'll show you how to connect those pieces. Right, I've got the hide sewed on the, on the main shaft of the uh, lamp here. Um, so at this stage you're pretty much good to go. Um, you don't want to tape that up and let it dry. Uh, make sure the hooves are together. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how to or how the lamp sets up. Um, answer any questions you have on the on parts you might want to swap out or or uh, or customize. So I got a just a regular piece of wood here. I drilled a hole in it. To represent a lamp base, um, you just go ahead and take your take your leg. You'll slide that in there, and these are all the parts that the kit come with. Um, so it comes with a, a washer and a nut, and of course, if you're buying a uh, base, um, this is going to be countersunk. Um, for you already if you're building your base you're going to have to countersink that to where you can screw your nut in and your washer uh, without it rubbing on your table um, of course if you're building your own you can just cut this off to fit uh, same thing if you're buying a base uh, once you have it screwed on you can just cut off the excess so this is secured on the base now um, so the next step uh, we'll take our cover here, slide it over, it covers and puts a nice finish on the top. Then we will slide on the lampshade uh, housing here. We'll put on our washer and lock nut, or regular nut.
taking that all the way down. All right. And go ahead and screw the bottom part of our uh, electrical electrical piece on. And we'll take our wire base. Go ahead and pass that through the lamp. Actually, we'll take that off and pull the wires out. There we go. So it's easier to just pull the wire through there and then screw it on. Once you have that, you'll attach your wire to the base. I'm not going to show you how to do that. You can look that up. Uh, pull your excess out. You'll end up with a regular light socket. Push that on. Put your bulb in, attach your shade, and you're done. Plug it in, comes with, looks like probably a six foot card. And that's all there is to it. And if you want, you can actually, if you have a base, you can put put your foot on the base and then tamp, uh, tape it up, make sure you get the correct alignment. But finished product right there. Hope you enjoy.